Good morning everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project and today is going to be a major overhaul of our solar power system. Right now I've got this chaotic mess of wires running from the solar panels to the house. I've been using extension cords, AC extension cords, to run uh, power from the solar panels on into the battery bank and it's very inefficient and I've also got then two DC wires um, running the power from the solar panels to the batteries. Now these two black ones are my old camper wires, they're not hooked up. I was going to see if I had enough to hook them together and make it from here to the house, but they're just too short. They're not hooked up, they're just laying there. The 100 foot AC extension cords running DC through them is very 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 wasteful too much loss in the lines they're 14 gauge wires and it's just disgusting so I've had a very inefficient system I want to run cryptocurrency mining rigs for free off solar power and to, so far they've been shut off since February entirely February March time period entirely shut off because I can't afford to run them now by changing the wiring I'll be able to probably run some some more power here a lot more so my thoughts are I'm gonna let me take you over to the house I'm gonna take this battery box from over here by the house and run it over under the solar panels instead now people are saying uh, a friend of mine especially said well the batteries will die in the cold but then I got thinking that's a good point but originally I was going to run a hole in the wall of the house and pipe heat into here. But I never want, got that done because I don't like putting holes in the walls. So then I got thinking, how about a passive solar heating system for this, plus heat tape as needed, and um, the heat of the batteries themselves in a heavily insulated box. Over here, I get full sunlight all day, so I could run a passive solar heater under the solar panels or next to them and heat the battery bank as needed. The insulation, insulation in the box will help keep them warm. And with by running the uh, DC from the solar panels straight into the battery bank, I've got a very, very little loss in the wires, like negligible, not measurable at that point. And then running AC from the solar panels to the house. And then the two lines that I've been running for DC instead of running the 24 volt solar through these I'll run 12 volt from the battery bank to my cigarette lighters and USB outlets there any loss in the line won't make any difference at all because it's reduced power anything we're plugging in there is reduced power anyway so it's perfect that's what we're gonna do today start ripping this all apart first I got the AC cords out of the way I cleaned up under the solar panels over here and I only have the two wires, the two DC wires left right now. I've disconnected all but one set of solar panels just for a maintainer up to the very last minute. And everything's just as I had left it. The batteries are still good. The only water in here just spilled in a minute ago when I opened this up. So everything's decent. Now I'm going to disconnect these and I'm going to start with removing the solar panels from the charge controller inside and then I'll come out and I'll remove the DC wires from out here and remove all these wires and then I can pull out the batteries and I can move the box and I can set everything back up hopefully quickly and efficiently time wise so that I can get uh, power going back in here Alright, I just disconnected solar, took off my ring. You don't want any metal on you when you're doing this. Then I'm going to disconnect the 12 volt power and the solar charge controller from in the house. That'll be next. Hope I don't have that too tight to turn by hand. I think I do. Might need a wrench. Nope, that works. Okay. Everything comes off now. Every single thing comes off.
Now some of you may remember I put dielectric grease on these a while back. So there's still some that grease is on there protecting these. So there's the uh, there's my thermostat that was in there. I will keep that in there. That's the power inverter. The power inverter is going to stay on the box for now as we work. I see two more thumb screws. And then all the power will be off the batteries entirely. Power inverter is disconnected entirely. Charge controller is disconnected entirely. Now it's just a matter of removing the batteries. This is not going to take as long as I thought in the beginning. It's just a matter of moving things. That's really greasy. I don't know if I should put on rubber gloves for this. I don't know what that does to your skin. So for convenience, I'm going to put the same wires in pretty much the same spots, roughly. The middle ones will stay the middle ones. The, uh, these here because they're curved neatly. Anyway, I want to continue this up here and dismantle all the batteries and then we'll move them. So any corrosion you see on the wires is, is old from before I cleaned the batteries and the wires. There's not any new corrosion since I greased them up. I'm going to finish disconnecting all that and move them over. All the wires are undone. Now I'm going to move the batteries over uh, and then I'll move the box. The box is going to be hard. It's heavy. All right, so I got the batteries out of there. This was the blocks and the framing that held that up. And then I've got the batteries over here and I moved the box. I'll show you that over here in a minute. All right, there's the box under the solar panels for now. I've got to take a break and get some water and then uh, we'll get this set up. I hauled some sand over. I got to level off this little bit of a dip in the ground. The batteries are going to start right behind the uh, right between the uh, legs of the solar panel rack, so that'll be the uh, back edge of it, so that they're somewhat sheltered, but they don't interfere with the full movement of the solar panels as needed. So I just need to level off the ground here where they're going to sit. Might need another load of sand, I'm not sure. I got my level. Yeah, I think I need another load of sand to be safe. Be back in a minute with another load. Well, there it is, guys, so far. I've got that leveled in all directions. I had to level off the sand, scuff it around. I did not get another wheelbarrow load because I realized I had enough here. Now I'm going to put the bricks on and then uh, we'll put the box on. So I got the bricks right here. Let the camera roll. I don't remember how. Oh, yeah, there I see where a brick was. Right there, right inside, in the middle. I'm trying to remember how I had the bricks on there for best results. Well, there it is, guys. 
in its new home under the solar panels so it's more sheltered from the elements this way at least in most of the half the year uh, well nine months out of the year I would say but it has its own roof anyway so that won't matter and I'm gonna have lunch and I'm gonna put the batteries back in wired up and we'll have more solar power Okay, the hardest part of the job is over. Ah, it's back breaking work. That hurts. Now, they're in there, in their new home. I've just got to reorganize them. Uh, centering them where I want them. And uh, moving them away from the walls. Because again, I still have to put insulation in here, which is no big deal. Uh, it's a job I've got to do next one day. There's space in between the batteries, plenty of space for airflow. Heat transfer, cables to be run, whatever needs to be done. There's plenty of space around them. It's like my floor warped a little bit under them. All right, now I'll go get the wires and we'll put them together. We'll have power going again pretty soon here. All right, now I have to connect these plus to minus, plus to minus all the way across. I already put one wire in off camera. You have to be good and firmly tight so that there's no arcing in between the leads ever, in between the contacts. Arcing leads to fire, loosens up the wires more, loss in power. Heat and corrosion. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the next three. Alright guys, what I've done, for those of you who want to know, these are six volt batteries each and so I have to connect them together in pairs from positive to negative to make 12 volts if you hook them in series plus to minus then at the outer terminals you have a 12 volt battery so I've got now four 12 volt batteries don't worry about the color of the wire I just had that's what I happen to have so I've got plus to minus plus to minus plus to minus so I've got the four 12 volt batteries now. And now I've got to connect the 12 volt batteries in series. So now I have to go plus to plus to plus to plus, or in parallel I mean, plus to plus to plus to plus, and minus to minus to minus to minus to make a single battery bank of 12 volts at uh, nearly a thousand amp hours, 900 and some change. So. Everything's greasy, so I keep this paper towel on hand. The uh, nuts are greasy, and I also have to wipe off the terminals because the grease picks up anything they touched. So, minus to minus. And in here, minus to minus, okay? And then I can put a knot on there, which I'm going to do now, so we don't have any trouble. The 
trouble being if that comes loose and touches something. We certainly don't want anything to sort out together. That would cause us some trouble. And then, I'm going to put this one under this one because that has a bigger hole. It gives me a better contact. And minus to minus. I'm going to put a nut on there. So that doesn't uh, fall off and touch something and cause a short. Alright, now I'm just going to tighten those and we'll be back in a minute. 